Hello. These instructions are for installing paneling in hallways and stairs using timber moldings. There is a range of different molding profiles to choose from for both the dado and the frames. These instructions apply to whichever profiles you choose. The moldings come in 2.4 meter strips, so how many you'll need will depend on the length of your wall, as well as how many panels you choose to go with. Before you begin, make sure you have the right tools for the job. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a chalk line, masking tape, wood filler, an angle finder, adhesive, cork, a wood saw, a level and a nail gun. The first step is to set a height for the dado rail. The height is typically between 900 mm to a meter in the hallway and landing, and roughly the height of the balustrade handrail on the stairs. We're having ours set to 900 mm, so we need to measure that distance up from the top of the skirting board and place a mark onto the wall. Do this at each end of the hallway and the landing and then place a line through the marks using either a chalk line or a straight edge. Next, we need to mark the height on the stairs. At the bottom and top of the stairs, using a level, draw a vertical line going up from the string. Measure up that line and make a mark at your set height. Then using a chalk line, strike a line through both marks. Next, take an angle finder and place on the junction where the lines intersect at the bottom of the stairs. To work out what angles are required for the mitre cuts, subtract the angle finder reading from 180, then divide by 2 to give the angle of cut required. On our stairs, the angle finder reads 138 degrees. So we deduct that from 180 and then divide that by 2 and we're left with 21 degrees. Repeat this for the top of the stairs. Using the angles we just worked out, measure, mark and cut the dado rails to length. Alternatively, draw tram lines to the width of your molding and offer the molding up to the joint and mark your angle. Repeat this for the top of the stairs. Apply adhesive to the backs of the rails and offer into place. Secure them with a nail gun. For the panels, there are no set rules, it is purely down to personal preference how many panels you want or the size of gaps between them. In our example, we are going to show four panels on the stairs using a 100mm gap. Draw a vertical line down from the corners on your dado rail. Next, measure 100 mm from the underside of the dado and mark at both ends of the run. If you make a 100 mm block, this will save time. Using the block mark out the rest of the run. Then place the block on the top of the skirting and mark at both ends of the run. Repeat this process for the stairs and then using a chalk line, strike a line through all of the marks. On the two vertical lines drawn from the corners of the dado, offset the line 50 mm on each side to create a gap of 100 mm. At either the bottom or top of the stairs, extend the bottom 100 mm line so that it intersects the furthest 50 mm offset vertical line. We'll refer to this measurement as X. Along this extended line, measure the distance between the two 50 mm offset vertical lines. This measurement will help in working out the panel sizes. Measure the distance between the two inner 50mm vertical lines along the bottom 100mm line. Decide on how many panels you require. In this example, we are going to have four panels. Now we're going to mark the lines for the panels. As we are having four panels, that means there will be three gaps. So we take the number of gaps and multiply it by measurement X, which gives us 402. Next, we deduct that from the 100mm line that we just measured, which gives us 3077. Then divide that by the four panels, and we're left with 769mm. This will be our panel length. Measure the panel length up the stairs from the 50mm offset vertical line and make a mark. Using a level, draw a vertical line through the mark. Measure up the stairs the X measurement, which in our case is 134mm, and mark another vertical line. Repeat this process up the stairs until all panels are marked out. If you're happy with how the design looks on the wall, measure and mark the panel strips using either an angle finder or the alternative way which we showed you with the dado rail. Then cut the strips to size. Apply adhesive to the backs of the strips and offer into place. Then secure with a nail gun. Repeat this for all of the stair panels. 
At the bottom of the stairs, measure and draw a vertical line 100 mm in from the end of the run. Then measure the distance between that line and the 50 mm offset vertical line. Decide how many panels you want at the bottom of the stairs. In our example, we're going to have two panels. Deduct 100 from the measurement we just made and then divide that by the number of panels. This gives us a panel length of 883 mm. Measure that distance from the end 100 mm offset line in the hallway and draw a vertical line. Measure 100 mm in from that line and draw another vertical line to give us the panel gaps. Measure and cut the strips to length with 45 degree miters at each end and then apply adhesive to the backs. Offer the strips up to the wall and secure with a nail gun. Repeat this process for the top of the stairs. Once all your panels are on the wall, fill any gaps and joints with decorator's cork, wiping away any excess with a damp cloth. Fill any nail holes with filler and sand to a smooth finish. Once the decorator's cork has dried, you are now ready to paint. Once it's painted it'll be time to stand back and admire your work.